boys and girls. I'm so excited to see you. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fa la 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 llama. All right, grab your paper, grab your pencils, and let's get started. This lesson was inspired by our previous lesson and by the illustrator, Mr. Steve Harpster. Um, this book is called Drawing Animals with Numbers, and I actually bought this at an art teacher convention. So thank you, Mr. Harpster. This is, let's find a page with the number nine. So I hope you review your numbers because we are going to be using the number nine to draw our llama. It will be a take on this, not exactly the same, but we are giving Mr. Harpster the credit for our inspiration. To get started, you are going to draw the number nine. Now, I'm going to draw with Sharpie so you can see my lines. You need to draw with pencil, and then you can erase any lines or little mistakes that you make if you want to. And so we are going to start with the number nine. If this is the middle of your paper, you want to start to the left. Somewhere up here, just leave enough space for the ears. So we are going to make a circle, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be a little bit of an oval. And then you are going to come down and make a line right about there. Not too long, not too short. It could You can measure it with your fingers, sort of, and I have small hands. Now we are going to make the llama's belly. And let's find it here. We are going to curve the back and then give it a chest. Okay. So we are going to curve the back. And then we are going to come down right here. And now we're going to give our llama some legs. Now, in this case, I gave my llama just skinny, curvy legs, like the letter U or the letter V, okay? They're curvy on the bottom, not pointy. Okay, now first, for the belly, we can make a slight wavy line. Okay, that's the fluffy belly. And then we are going to make one leg two legs, one leg on the back, second leg. Make the little tail right here, okay. Like a tall leaf, not too long. You don't want it to be in the bunny family. And then the inside. Okay, now if you were drawing with pencil, you can go ahead and erase that line. You don't have to. All right, now our llama is gonna be facing forward. A circle here for the face. And then we're gonna make a letter V. You could make a little heart if you wanted to. And then just a little line. If you want your llama to be smiling, you can curve the little mouth. This llama's gonna have closed eyes. She's dreaming of winter. Now we are going to dress our llama because this is a winter llama. You could put a little winter hat on her or him. So I'm just gonna make curvy line, curvy line, and then a line for the rim of the hat and maybe a little pom-pom there. You could also draw patterns on your hat. So when you color it, you have little things to add to it and actually little sections to color in. Okay, for the neck, you could do, in this llama, we did just some lines with little pom-poms, little circles for pom-poms. You could do that and pretend they are Christmas lights 
You don't have to. You can also give your llama a scarf, a winter scarf. Now, because llamas have such long necks, you could actually make the scarf kind of like double layer. Okay, and then maybe a pattern. I think I'm just gonna do curvy lines and this could be a candy cane pattern. Just curvy lines, like the letter C. You see that? Okay, now I'm gonna make the part of the scarf two lines pointing down and then close it. It's like a loose rectangle. And that is the part of the scarf that hangs down. I'm also gonna make the curvy lines in it so that it looks like a candy cane. You'll see the pattern once I add the color. Now, if you want it to be like blowing in the wind, you could also do another piece of the scarf kind of to the side and make your curvy lines. I'm gonna make just a small curve here like the letter U, okay? And I think I'm gonna make a little pattern, maybe just polka dots, and then I can color them different colors, okay? Those are part of the polka dots going off the edge. And then maybe I can make like little lines with a circle, and those could be little pom-poms. All it is is a line and then a little circle. It almost looks like an upside down popsicle or lollipop. What could this llama be carrying? Cause she is transporting something. She, they're very strong. What could they be transporting in winter? Maybe a little Christmas tree or maybe some presents. Uh, maybe a basket full of gingerbread cookies. I think I'm gonna make mine, just carry a few presents so that it's not too hard for you to draw. This is gonna be a square in the square family. So I'm gonna make two lines. If your scarf is in the way, pretend, pretend, pretend that you are be going behind that scarf and then go back up. And then make sure that they are more or less even and make a line across, two lines pointing up, and then one line, horizontal line across. Now, this one, you could make it, you know how sometimes presents, they have a lid. You could do that. I think I'm gonna do that to this one too. And a smaller present on top. I think it looks good when they're different sizes, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw a pattern. Maybe this one has diagonal lines going across. Maybe this one has polka dots. And by polka dots, I mean little circles that you can color with your crayons different colors, okay? Maybe this one could have snowflakes on it. And all I am going to do is an X and then another X in the middle. Okay, and you can do this with a different color. I'm just doing this with the Sharpie so you can see all of my lines easily. For a bow, I'm gonna make one curvy line pointing up and come right back down. And then a smaller one inside. All it is is a loop, okay? And a smaller one inside, sort of like an upside down raindrop. And if you want to make some ribbons kind of going out two lines side by side and then close it and then you can add color to it later so now we have our llama we have the decorations now we are ready for the background we're gonna make a slight wavy line on the bottom for the horizon line this is sort of like the snow on the ground Okay, just a slight wavy line. Notice how I went behind the llama's legs. I skipped over. If you accidentally draw on top, then when you trace with your Sharpie over your pencil, uh, don't trace inside of the leg and then just erase it and it will be fine. So snowflakes, we're gonna start with an X, a big X. 
Got it. And then one line in the middle. And then one line across. So I was telling my students the other day, it's like an X and then a plus sign in them. And then you can get fancy. You can draw circles on the ends. Ta-da! Let's do another one over here. And they don't have to be the same size. So there's my X and then my little plus sign in the middle. The little plus sign can be smaller. And then you can do the letter V. Notice how we are using all of our numbers, lines, and letters. The letter V goes right here on the end. And ta-da! And you could even do like a little dot if you want to make it extra fancy. You could even do little dots in between these lines, okay? Don't forget to trace those with your Sharpie when you outline everything with Sharpie. It's a candy cane shape and another candy cane shape, and then you connect them, okay? Candy cane shape, candy cane shape. Ta-da! I would do a few more over here. Now I'm going to do a time lapse. That's like a quick little video so you can see me coloring. And then we're gonna paint the back. And now we are ready for our background. I colored all of my little decorations with crayons, nice and bright. I drew some of my simple snowflakes. Remember, they were the letter X and then a plus sign in the middle and then a few little details on the ends. If you want to add just a little more detail to the background, you can do some little dots with yellow and you can see the yellow here nice and bright. You could also use white. This is what we call, what we're about to do, it's called a watercolor crayon resist. And it is one of the oldest tricks in art lessons, in art projects, where you draw with crayon and then you color over it with watercolor paint and the crayon will resist the watercolor and will push it aside and the crayon will still show up. So all the little yellow dots that I just drew, they're going to show up. Now, I want you to be very careful when you paint around your llama. We wanna keep the llama white as much as we can. So very carefully, here I'm gonna use liquid blue watercolor paint and a watercolor brush. If you have really small areas, you can also use a very small brush to get into those little areas. So I am loading my brush. I'm not swirling the cup, making everything spill. Just dipping it, loading my brush. And then carefully, I'm going to paint right around everything that I drew. You don't have to be scared to go right against the edge of the presents and your llama. Just be careful, take your time. If there's a space over here that you can't reach because the table is too big and you are very small, you can turn your paper to reach those hard to get areas. You don't have to crawl on the table or crawl across on top of your paper. See, so very carefully paint around the edges and then you can take your time and paint your background nice and even. Notice how I'm going side to side or up and down, but I am not scribbling with my paint. Sometimes kids like to personalize it. You can put your name on the llama. You can put your name down here in the year. We're gonna do that since this is one of our fundraiser little projects. Okay, fa la 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 llama. Come back to create with us guys. See you later. This is Mrs. Horndorf.